All right, killer. I'm back in sanctuary. Be careful. The bloodshots have camped out all around the dam. You'll want to get a vehicle to soak up some bullets for you. Okay, there we go. So we need to get back to... Uh, I think we're going to go back to Sanctuary first for just a quick look at what the quests are like now. But we need to get a vehicle to go into the Bloodshot Stronghold. And the quest is called A Damn Fine Rescue and you'll see why in a second. So there's this really cool, we're back at Sanctuary, this really cool uh, sniper rifle in here. That's a shock sniper rifle with a very high damage accuracy, fire rate and shock chance. So that's gonna go into the inventory. Um, and then we're gonna go up because there's somebody here with an extra quest. I like my treasure blue. Yes, of course we do. So Lilith here has not a quest for us. Wanna break some stuff? So we can go back to Frostburn Canyon with her quest. So the cult following Eternal Flame. Lilith accidentally started a cult, which is fun. And in memoriam, Lilith is alive, but Hyperion sure as hell doesn't need to know that. So I kinda inspired a cult? And not the fun ask you for autographs kind. I need you to infiltrate the children of the Firehawk and find out if they're planning anything shady. I'd do it myself, but I'm kind of worried they'd freak out if they saw their god in person. Go talk to the cult's leader, Incinerator Clayton. There we go. That starts off those quests, so it's good that we can pick those up. But now we'll head back to Three Horns to fight, although I want to check out Marcus's inventory really quickly first. And he has a blue neutralizing repeater. I'm just going to leave that over there. So while we're at it, we might do the cult following quest first. So find Incinerator Clayton. He shouldn't be too far off because I think he's at that side area at the beginning here. Uh, we need to talk to him because he has kind of a job for us. It's, uh, again, in true Portland style, a bit of a creepy job. He also looks like a creep. This is Incinerator Clayton. Hello, fella. I am Incinerator Clayton. We know. You. I witnessed you enter the lair of the Firehawk and return unharmed. If you truly wish to serve our mother, you must pass a test. Use a fire weapon to send my brothers to the Eternal Flame. Then collect their ashes and return them to me. So yeah, just a crazy bandit. Uh, burning people alive is mildly shady, but these cultists sound like they want it, which is weird. Do what he asks, I guess. How do you get skulls to burn like that, I wonder? So let's collect some bandit ashes by burning people alive with this fire shotgun. Oh, how I love the screams of my enemies. Uh, the pyro doesn't care about fire damage. Yeah, this this is not gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go with the the psychos. There we go. There we go. Oh, this guy. This, this guy doesn't really care. Where the hell? Ah, oh, there he is. Um. Then that guy goes, so I think we're almost at five. Well, we're definitely at five now. I think. I think there's plenty where that came from, by the way. There we go. Ooh. Okay. Blue SMG. Why not, eh? Let's just pick that up and turn the quest in. Because we burned some people alive. And we're still alive. So that's that's nice, I guess. I'm just going to open up this toilet here. As you do in Borderlands. Oh, right. No, this is the book, that toilet. Kind of forgot about that one, didn't I? There we go. Hello, Clayton. You've pleased Incinerator Clayton, which is good, by committing brutal violence, which is bad, against a group of people who only find happiness in immolation-related death, which is kind of a grey area. Either way, you've successfully infiltrated the children of the Firehawk. These children now know an ecstasy I can only dream of! Thank you, Torch. Return to me for further trials. There we go, okay, so this quest right. actually keeps going. I don't know if they're up to anything dangerous. Other than burning themselves alive. Indeed. Unfortunate news, Torch. There are idolaters among us. Children who have betrayed their one true mother, the Firehawk. 
They follow my <gasps> heathen demigod known as Scorch. I implore you. Destroy this pretender and all those who follow him! Who cares if they worship somebody else? Look, just play along. Clayton needs to trust you completely. If they've been doing anything that we need to stop, that's the only way you'll hear about it. So there we go. We're gonna have to defeat Scorch. Because he's uh he's pretending to be the new fire god. Which we can't have, can we? Um so I'm gonna have to make my way through Frostburn Canyon again, but I'll make it quick. Just gonna pick up some more weapons chests along the way. Also kind of forgot to talk about that. There's actually a hidden weapon around here, I think. Or is it a bit further? I know there's one in a patch of ice, but this doesn't seem to be ice now, does it? Let's move on. So, over here in a spider ant nest, there's actually the new quote-unquote leader. And, well, he's actually just a fire ant. And he's burning those guys. There we go. Let's just hide away and then just blast off at the back of Scorch. With the uh, the explosive gun, we're doing fine. And there we go. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, spider ants keep spawning. Ooh, that was a nasty explosion. And they do combust really nicely. And he drops the boss rifle. Just gonna grab that to sell. There's another a weapons chest underneath the scaffolding, so don't mind if I do. Uh, they're all worse pistols than the ones I have, so I'm just gonna leave that there. And that move up. So yeah, I kind of feel like uh, Lilith is... Uh, well, has been in bandit territory for a bit too long. She seems to like the uh, adoration she's getting. Even though she's getting it as a brutal fire goddess. So sometimes you get these weapon chests that are uh, locked behind an electric fence. You can't really reach those unless you follow the electric wire all the way down to where it comes from. And shoot the battery. And I think it's inside that house over there, so let's do super quick. Okay. Don't mind if I do, buddies. The staircase doesn't agree with me. I'm just gonna die now, because... Yeah, come on, kill me. There we go. There we go. Is this guy starting to annoy me? Dick. There we go. So I want to go up this, the ladder here again, but that uh, that didn't really work. Just gonna open this up, get some ammo if I need any, and then there we go. Now this the ladders work really really funky here. So if you use this, you can actually shoot it as well. You don't want to touch it. We can actually go back up. And there's another weapon chest over here. With just crappy mods. 26% melee damage now. But I got the sniper mod here. With sniper rifle gun damage up and critical damage up. Or max health and max... Ooh. That's good. Health regen. I want that. Thank you very much. So now I have a little bit of health regen. But that's enough to uh, keep me alive in between fights. But now the electric fence is off. We can open this up. Anything colorful? Well, it's colorful, all right, but it's a fire sniper rifle. I'm gonna take the fire sniper rifle. The other one can uh, stay over there. Ooh, a better explosive shotgun. Don't mind if I do consume three ammo per shot, but I'm fine with that. So let's just equip that. And then we can get back to Incinerator Clayton, who's on the other side of this area. Oh, I think I blew myself up a bit. There we goes. Ooh, Iridium. Don't mind if I do. Just gonna, just gonna get away. And then we go back to Incinerator Clayton, where we can turn in the quest for a bit more experience and a little weapon choice. Weird, but they only seem to hurt themselves and that Scorch guy. Maybe we should just leave them alone. 
So, no cult would be complete without some good old-fashioned voluntary sacrifice. The enkindling is almost upon us, Torch! But the Firehawk spoke to me in a dream and demanded another sacrifice. No, I didn't. The burning of her favorite son, the midget known as Magstick. You must take him to the Soaring Dragon in the Southern Shelf and incinerate him within the jaws of the great mechanical beast who dwells there. So, remember the dragon on top of the giant tanker where we fought Flynn? Yeah, we need to we need to grab a midget who's in this outhouse, so that's why we couldn't open it. And just pick him up. Maxstick is our most devoted brother. He's immolated more than a hundred people for the Firehawk. With nothing more than an incendiary pistol and the strength of his belief. A hundred people? Okay, that's impressive. I mean, they were probably just other members of the cult, right? Right? I think he probably emulated some, uh, some, some good people as well, Lilith. Uh, but now we need to go back to the freighter, which is a bit annoying. But uh, we'll do just that, because you, you won't notice any of that. I'm just going to 3, 2, 1, cut to that, and we'll uh, see you right there in a second. And this is sadly where the annoying part of Borderlands' fast travel system comes in. There's only one point on each map that you can fast travel to. Well, normally there's only one. There's a few areas with two. But that also means that I need to do this entire area again to get the Flynn's ship. But I'm going to just skip through all of that and I'll see you guys in a second. Explode, bandits! That sadly also includes boss battles, so do there's Boom Boom again. I'm just gonna move forward. So there's a soaring dragon, I only need to get on top of it right now, which is gonna take a while, so uh, yeah. So, all the way back on top of the boat, I don't... Yeah, Flynn, Flynn has, Flynn has reloaded. Just gonna shoot him a bit, because I don't want to deal with this right now. Because I'm a bit stronger now and he's still level 6. There we go. Bye, Flynn. We get another murderous stun box for that. But we need to go to the back of the boat, which is now open. So that was why I was confused the first time we went here. Because I knew this area would open up eventually. But now, we can use this area to These burn matchsticks. Really sitting around burning one another for giggles. Maybe we don't have to worry about them. That'd be nice. So, place matchstick in the dragon's mouth. There he goes. She is coming! The time is almost at hand! We will be together, Firehawk! Finally, we'll be together! Get to the incinerator console and give him what he wants, I guess. This is... This is not good, is it? There we go. Bye! I feel your embrace, Firehawk! I love you! I love you so much! Okay. That was kind of weird. Kind of. Yeah. Yeah, I think we bur just burned the midget alive. And now we need to turn this in. We need to go back. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to incinerate the clay and see you guys in a second. So, after another five minute hike, a uh, literal five minute hike, by the way, I'm not, I'm not exaggerating about this. We're back in Frostburn Canyon and we can uh, finish this build quest with incinerator Clayton again. So, hi buddy. So Matchstick is deep within the warm confines of the Firehawk's embrace, experiencing a supreme eternal bliss. Or he's in hell. Thank you, Torch. We shall join Matchstick soon. The enkindling approaches. But there we go. We got a purple ship from this. A purple what? A purple shield. The enkindling approaches. It is time for the enkindling, young Torch. Time to sacrifice heathens to our blazing mother. Okay, light effigies with fire. I'm gonna swap to the spiker here. Just so we can do Wait, that. The enkindling? That could be very bad. Or it could be like a cookout or something. Just keep an open mind about it, you know? These guys aren't so bad. I think they are, Lilith. I think they are. Does this actually reach this far? So it does. Well, Torch. Once the enkindling is complete. We shall all receive our reward in the Firehawk's toasty bosom. I don't like the sound of that, though. 
I actually don't really remember what happens at the end of this side quest, but uh, yeah, the enkindling. It's going to be as much a surprise to you as it's going to be to me. So let's uh, light this, although I think I kind of have an idea. Oh, come on, hit it. I feel like it's going to be my human sacrifice. pretty evil. Just head to this enkindling thing. If things get creepy, I'll make an appearance. Be careful. Uh, oh, the enkindling is over there. Wait, how do I get there? So it's definitely oh. over there. So it's the other side from the main quest. So we kind of did this area already. And I think I'm not going to actually use this the spiker because it works the late. And to kill them. This doesn't look nice. Let's just set that guy on fire. And there he goes. Up his brains, because I think, yeah, a shocked enemy actually just explodes. Die. Die. Thank you. So there's a little stuff here. I'm going to switch back to the explosive pistol. Or legendary. Okay. He's shocked. Oh, I kind of popped his head, I think. So he's gonna start going on a rampage. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let him do that. I think. Let's get rid of the pyro shields and everything else. But actually, just ooh, and there he goes. Okay. Also, don't get the experience. There he goes. If the enemies kill him. So I'm actually using a spike shield right now, and a spike shield actually damages an enemy that melees me. So against spider ants, that always damages them. Okay, I don't know why this little thing is running. Why are you running away? Fuck you. So this might look a bit weird, but I need to go all the way around to actually reach the uh, enkindling spot, if I recall correctly on the map. Aha, and this is that cave with the blue gun. I don't know why, but there's... Three of them? Okay, the stopping Lasco and the light Lasco. So that's a blue gun that always spawns in that. I'm going to show you that on the map. So it's right there on the east side of the map. And it always spawns there. It's an SMG that keeps uh, going, if I'm not mistaken. So the gun of the bulls. And it has a lot of recoil reduction, which makes it really, really powerful. In most cases, so I think the stopping one is more powerful and the other one has a bigger clip, a higher reload speed and accuracy, but I think I'm going to go for the stopping one. So they're only level 9, but that's higher than most of my other guns, especially the Uncamped Herald, which is going to start being out damaged really quickly. That's going to give us a base, a uh, high DPS weapon. There we go. And I'm glad I actually got to show that because I kind of forgot where it was. So if you fire that, it just goes wild. There we go. Because it melts. It melts enemies. If you get a few criticals in. The zoom is pretty much unusable. Because it just goes all over the place. Because it zooms in a bit too much. But uh, yeah. That's the uh, the last go. So back at the camp right before the firehawk thingy. Uh, I'm just gonna kill off everybody here, I suppose. With our fancy new SMG. So incinerator Clayton is already dancing. Uh, so sorry, incinerator Clayton. I'm gonna have to deal with a few things first because there's a lot of people actually attacking me right now. I don't know if you noticed, but the bullets kind of go all over the place, but also kind of homing. There he goes. I think that's most of them except for the pyro over here, and there he goes. Oh, another psycho. Hi. Yeah, bye. And they keep spawning. And there we go. Oh, 
I'm almost out of ammo for this gun, but there's plenty more where that came from. Oh, I think I think I blew up Incinerator Clayton. Sorry, buddy. Not not that he's such a nice fella, but now that we're here, I'm just gonna reopen this uh, loot chest. It actually has a blue shield. That is good on every capacity, isn't it? There we go. Very high capacity shields can come in handy. Oh, and more iridium. Uh, it's always nice as well. So I think there might be one more enemy up there. Is he still up there? He is. There he goes. So, now we can do this quest in peace. Incinerator Clayton, have you won the Dolf? Yeah, he's over there. To blow him up, but uh, let's pull the lever. of the Firehawk's majesty. Their lives are an abomination. Watch your eyes, killer. I'm coming in. And there she is. Your goddess has arrived, and she's very disappointed. Vault Hunter, I'll get these civilians back to Sanctuary. In the meantime, smite these bitches. This cannot be true. <laughs> OK, so Senator Clayton starts to freak out. There we goes. <laughs> Weaknesses now known to me. And that was a massacre, wasn't it? So there we go. Incinerator Clayton down. And Lilith has been freed from her uh, little cult she created. We kind of murdered all of them for her. Great job taking care of the cult. I tell you, man, being a god sucks. We owe you our lives, Vault Hunter. Yes, worship the Vault Hunter. Worship the Vault Hunter! Uh, whoops. Uh, come, come on back. C come on back, so yeah. Uh, we ended one cult, but it appears like we've started another one. Since now, uh, yeah, the people of Sanctuary will worship us instead. So, uh, Galen the Heathen is now worshipping us. But, need to get back, and that means in a little track on foot. And there we go, back at Sanctuary. It's a really cool quest line, but sadly there's a lot of walking and backtracking involved, which makes it kind of annoying sometimes. But uh, let's check this out first, as always. No, I think I can actually sell a few things. But with that done, we finish up the Firehawk quest line. So there we go. Attend the Enkindling. The children of the Firehawk are no more. And we get a... Ooh. I didn't realize that was going to be a legendary. The inflammable flame of the Firehawk. From the ashes she will rise. Continually release fire nova blasts when depleted. Must fully recharge between novas. Grants immunity to burn damage as well. So that is one hell of a shield. Um, so that's our third legendary actually. This is... I didn't realize you got... Is that guaranteed? So continually releases fire nova blasts when depleted. That's gonna be interesting. So if my shield is down, I'm gonna continuously burst into flame. That is, that sounds awesome. So another point into our kill skill, the grim kill skill. So regenerate up to 2.1% of your max shields per second. And the cooldown rate is reduced by four, well, increased by 4.5%. So not that much, but it's at least something because it actually keeps us from getting health damage if it stacks quickly enough if we're quick enough on dealing damage but now it's time to head back into the main quest so we're gonna get a vehicle to infiltrate the bloodshot stronghold if it would only be that easy next time on borderlands 2 we meet the lovely ellie i should have killed your fat ass when i had the 